Hands are washed and we've got all the ingredients. Tiki? First we add flour. My mom's got some roses in her garden. I could go get them. Baking flour, Frankie. Not the nice smelling kind of flour. I knew that. So, we add two scoops of flour. One, two, and three, and four. This is awesome! Wait, how many scoops was that? Well, I put in the first one. I did the second. And I poured the third and fourth. Uh-oh. We were only supposed to add two, Frankie. Oops, my fault. Is it ruined? Let me think. Hmm. I know how to fix it. Since we doubled the amount of flour, we'll just double the rest of the ingredients. Tiki, by putting in twice as many ingredients, we're going to make twice as much cake. Let me get this straight. My mistake of adding more flour is going to get us twice as much cake? That was the greatest mistake of my life! Hmm, I like it. The bigger the cake, the better our chance of winning. Let's do it! We'll be eating cake for the rest <laughs> of our lives after this. I think we're gonna need a bigger bowl. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, guys, time to pour the batter into the baking pan. Okie dokie, Mom. We're ready for you. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, my! You certainly have been busy. Yeah, we doubled the recipe. Great, huh? Looks amazing! Smells yummy. It's ready! It's ready! Oh, boy. All right, everyone stand back. Whoa! It's gigantic! There's so much of it. And it's all cake! Hmm, I'm going to need something big to get these huge cakes out of the oven. I know. Be right back. <gasps> this ought to do it, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> A snow shovel? Well, if that doesn't work, I don't know what will. Here goes. Layer one, layer two, layer three. Yay! Okay, now all we have to do is decorate it with lots of frosting. Don't forget the school. More trees. More frosting. More, more, more. And last but not least, easy, easy. Got it. Hey, guys, come on in. So where do we start? This book says diamond kites are the easiest to make. Okay, so why don't we each make a diamond kite for the contest? I was thinking we could paint a picture of ourselves on the fabric part. Cool. Kind of like this. Oh, I get it. That's good. I love it, Ella! Love it! Check it out, Frankie. Hey, that's me. When we put them together... Ta-da! That is awesome! Aw, look! They're holding hands! But how do we make these kites? My dad said we could have these squares of fabric. They're pieces of old ship sails. It's too bad they're not diamond-shaped. That would have made it so much easier. A diamond kind of looks like a square turned on its side. Whoa! Awesome! So why don't we paint our kites today? And if you guys want, you can come over to my house tomorrow and we can build the kite frames. That would be amazing, Frankie. Ooh! Love it! So pretty! Great work, team! Okay, Dad, close your eyes and open your hands. You can open your eyes now. Well, would you look at that? I've got the world in the palm of my hand. Wait a second. You made this? Uh-huh. Do you like it? I made it just for you. It's brilliant, Ella. Hey, hey, is that my ship right there? Yipper skipper. Your ship's a bit bigger, of course. And see this? I drew a line, so you'll always find your way home. Do you like it? Oh, Ella, I love it. And I promise to keep it with me every moment I'm away. I love you, Daddy. Okay, at first, I wanted to make something that would always remind you of me. But then, when you were stuck in your boat, I changed my statue into something even better. Ta-da! My, oh, my. Look at that. <laughs> Belinda Blue and her dad. And he loves it. I knew he would. I call my project. 
project? Perfect perfumes by me, Belinda Blue. I made perfume from scratch. Oh. Pee-wee! What is that stink? It's not a stink, Frankie. It's called a fragrance. Isn't it fabulous? Well, it really is something. Even if the perfume is a little strong for my taste. <laughs> well, I love it. <sighs> Let me guess, a balloon rocket? Yep, and it works just like a real rocket. See? The air in the balloon is like the push a rocket gets when it blasts off into space. Isn't this awesome? Yes, Frankie, pretty awesome indeed. So, Tiki, what are these tuning forks used for? My experiment shows that the length of the tuning fork changes the pitch of the sound. The longer the fork, the lower the pitch. Very interesting, Tiki. Nice work. Hi, Mrs. Briggs. Welcome to Ella's Ant Farm. I built this ant farm to show how ants work together. Ants are great diggers, and they built all of the tunnels overnight. Wonderful idea. But this ant farm seems a little wobbly. I wouldn't want those ants to get out. Oh, they won't. I followed the directions. 99, 100. Now all that's left to do is glue them onto this poster board. Stand aside. I'm the glue master. One tube of glue coming up. Can I? Can I? Go for it! Are those your comics? Yep! Regardless how heavy they were, you coming? Yep! Just want to go over my collection one last time. Okay, see you inside! Yikes! That's not good! What do I do now? The glue is still so wet! Oh no! Frankie used toothpaste instead of glue! Uh-oh. Think, Ella! Aha! And first on my list is... Ella! Psst, Frankie, do you know what Ella did for her collection? It's a surprise. You're up first, Ella. Okay, Mrs. Briggs. And what did you collect? I collected 100 special memories. Hey, that's the ticket stub from that bad movie we all went to see. And a picture from her bike ride last summer. And my leave. And the best part about this box? I couldn't have filled it without my best friends ever. Aww. Best friends forever! <laughs> Wheels? Check! Purple thrusters? Check! Paint? Check! Yeah! So what do you think? It's awesome! Hmm, I feel like we forgot something. No way! This is the greatest soapbox ever! It is pretty cool, isn't it? And the best part is, we did it together. You said it! Next stop, the Soapbox Derby! Welcome to the starting line of the Elephant Island Soapbox Derby! Looking good, Tiki. Gee. Thanks, Belinda. It's Queen Belinda, remember? Yes, of course, Your Highness. <laughs> Ada! Ada! I love what you've done with your racer. Very snazzy. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, a blanket with wheels. Lovely. Tell me there's something wonderful underneath. Your Majesty, may we present the Melba Gray Turbo Mammoth Racer. Pretty awesome, huh? Wowzers, this is even better than your other designs, Ella. Because we did it together, Tiki. And it was elephantastic fun. They're done. How's this? Great tree. Very realistic. Thanks. Awesome idea, Ella. I couldn't find a tire for the tire swing, though. Oh, well, it'll have to do. Frankie, why don't you go get our moms at the bakery? Sounds like a plan. It's perfect. Did someone order the best moms in the world? <laughs> Come on in, but keep your eyes closed. Not you, Frankie. Open your eyes. I was just kidding, Ella. This is so exciting. Okay, you can open your eyes. 
Oh, my goodness! Wow! Since we can't go outside, we brought the outside inside! Woohoo! We right. did it! <gasps> Is that the tree fort? Yep. Oh, it's wonderful! I can't believe how inventive you are. As Frankie would say, this is awesome! Uh... <laughs> but wait, there's more! Follow us! Check it out! Is this the waterfall? Yes, and it's cold like it too. This is all so great, guys. The only thing we couldn't find was a tire for the tire swing. Oh, that's okay. We can't go swinging in the rain. Hmm. Wait! I know! Come on! Oh, wow! Will you look at that? Sweet! That's much better than an old tire swing. Now you two go have a seat in the swing while Mrs. Melba and I go get that surprise snack. Hold on! It's Mother's Day! You two sit in the swing and we'll get the snack! Oh. <laughs> it's on the kitchen table! <laughs> Aren't they just wonderful?